morning happy new vlog i hope you all had the most amazing weekend just gone it's the start of a new vlog usually i try to start on mondays but i'm not gonna lie it's tuesday at about half one i'm all ready i just need to sort my hair out i am going camping today with some of my closest friends I actually met them in training when I did my training for my airline and it's been nearly two years since then and we have remained as close as ever which is just gorgeous. They're a gorgeous group of girls and I love them very dearly and we have managed to all fly together here and there so we've been able to keep in contact. Obviously we all live far away but we do try and see each other as much as we can. It's so difficult to arrange four flight attendants for a meet up so this has been a long time coming and we all booked the same annual leave off at the same time, luckily. We have picked to go like glamping along the south coast of England, which I actually live in the south coast, so it's the least furthest away from me. That's why I'm just getting ready now, but bless them, they have been driving down for the last hour. Got an hour to go, so I'm just going to finish getting ready and packing. And then when they're here, we will make our way to the campsite, do a massive Tesco shop. So we have loads of snacks and loads of food. But I'm really excited. I've been wanting to go glamping for a long time. We've got a gorgeous lodge with a little hot tub and I'm so excited. As usual, I will try and get as much footage as I can, but I don't see these girls particularly that often, especially as a group. So I'm just gonna enjoy my time with them and I'll get whatever footage I can when it feels natural. But yeah, sorry, my camera keeps sliding. So I keep having to adjust it. But yeah, so I'm gonna go finish getting ready and Stay tuned and see what I get up to this week. We've just arrived at the accommodation. I'm with Hannah. Yeah. You wouldn't have seen Hannah in any of my vlogs yet, but... Yeah, oh, I know you would have. Oh my God. <laughs> I meant this like my weekly vlogs, but yeah, my Disneyland Paris vlogs. I went with Hannah. Is that her car? I thought she had white. No, I think she's got a white car. Um, but yeah, we're here now. When we get there, I'll give you a little tour of the room. Excited. We're going to meet the other two girls, Emily and Daisy now. Food shopping. <laughs> Feeding the five thousand. Emily made us dinner. Mmm. Mm. Well done, Emily. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> I went well done, Emily. <laughs> Good morning. Just making breakfast. <laughs> we bought so many food yesterday, and we're just sat and I'm like, grab a egg on toast. How do you like the food? Put it down. <laughs> it won't do it. <laughs> okay. Why is it not working? Oh, you've not put it on on the plug. No. I was gonna get up early and get in the hot tub, but I just couldn't be bothered. But I'm gonna tell my mum about this place. It's only half an hour from us. Oh my goodness. Hello. 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 So I'm actually in a rush, so I thought I'd do a quick catch up on here. Um, obviously, I've not really been on my phone this weekend. Well, I keep saying weekend, but it's actually, it was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday that I was away with my girls. Such a wholesome weekend. I didn't get as much footage. I was just really enjoying their time. I didn't want to keep getting my phone out to vlog it just you know I was just enjoying it um all of my friends <laughs> um my friends in my last couple of vlogs and then my friends in this vlog we've all got such crazy schedules so it's really hard to see them a lot of the time all of them so when I do see them I just really really enjoy it but I had a lovely weekend we did wine glass painting lots of board games we played uno scattergrees pictionary it's incredible so we drove where I live to do some shopping I bought some stuff um, just like some bikinis from Primark, this new hat as well. Um, and then we, Emily and my friend, she cooked this beautiful carbonara on the first night. We went to Tesco's and a massive food shop. We bought enough food to feed like the 5,000. Um, and we obviously didn't end up eating all, but it's fine. We all shared it out, took it home, so it's not gonna go to waste, obviously. And yeah, it was just a gorgeous, gorgeous weekend. We went on the hot tub both nights. I don't think I got any footage from that. 
we went in the hot tub both nights it was absolutely gorgeous um yeah just a gorgeous gorgeous trip uh it's now thursday at just gone 4 p.m i'm on my way to the chemist i just popped to tesco to pick up some bits uh, just like some porridge pots and stuff for work obviously i'm on my way to the chemist to get my asthma inhalers my new prescription ones and tomorrow i've got a day off and then saturday i am off to india so very exciting and yeah i'm gonna go to the chemist now see you in a bit not vlogged for a few days the last thing i think i vlogged was when i went on my little girls weekend well weekday weekend away which was so gorgeous i can't remember if i vlogged anything since then but since then i spent a few days at home obviously with my boyfriend and we played board games we played uno we had chinese takeaway ben and jerry's ice cream and it was just really nice I've not vlogged because I'm not gonna lie, I just kept forgetting and I was just enjoying time with my friends and my family and my boyfriend. Now, you're wondering where I am. I am in Mumbai, India, which is really exciting. I haven't been here for about just under two years, maybe a year and a half. It's my second ever time in India, second ever time in Mumbai. I look very pale and very tired, but I woke up at 4 a.m. UK time and it is now about half three quarter to four in the morning Mumbai time so you're probably thinking oh you've been up for 24 hours but Mumbai is actually five and a half hours ahead of the UK so it's not even been 24 hours for me yet so I'm feeling pretty good pretty awake the flight was nice lovely crew as always and it is obviously very late here I just got in a shower, done my skincare, that's why I look like a bit of a glazed donut, which is what we're aiming for. My hair is really, really dirty and slicked, so please ignore that, but I'm gonna wash it tomorrow after I get in and out of the pool, which I'm looking forward to. When I got my room, the first thing I did was obviously message my friends, to my family and my boyfriend, and then I went on TikTok and I forgot that in India, TikTok doesn't work. I don't know how I'm gonna go in the next two days about TikTok because I'm quite obsessed with it. But yeah, I look absolutely terrible. Um, but basically I'm here until tomorrow night and then I'm positioning home again. Like I feel like I used to say, oh, I never position. And now I position a lot because of the wind operations and that kind of thing. But yeah, very lucky gonna position home tomorrow with another crew member and i'm gonna wake up tomorrow now i would love to get up here around 9 a.m but that's not gonna happen i think i'm gonna get up about half 12 which is like 7 a.m uk time and i'm gonna try and go to the gym i've got porridge pot i've got snacks with me I'm gonna try and self cater as much as possible and then be a passenger home but yeah, so I'm all ready for bed now. I'm gonna go and hop in bed and sleep and I'll be with you tomorrow morning. Good morning, well, good afternoon. It's actually just gone quarter past two here. Like I said last night, I was gonna try and get up about 10. I set an alarm for 11 a.m. in the end and it went off and every time my alarm went off, I was half asleep. So I was like, right, I'll just put another 20 minutes on it. And I kept doing that. And then I was like two o'clock now, I need to get up now. I feel better, better for it, but I am annoyed that I've wasted the whole morning when I could have just gone down to the pool and chilled there. But the weather looks gorgeous, so let's go sort myself. Tell me why I've just discovered that the bathroom curtain goes up with this little button. And that's perfect for me because when I'm in the shower, I feel like I still want to be aware of the room. And this is so good. Obviously, I'm not sharing the room with anybody, so it doesn't even matter if anyone can see me in the shower from my room because no one's here. But look at that. You got all of my stuff in the bed. Look at that mess. But I love that. Oh my god, I'm gonna keep that open. It feels so much more like roomy in here now. <laughs> back 
from the pool. So I ended up going down there about, well, when I wake up about 20 past two. Can't remember if I filmed anything because I had forced myself awake at that point and I was still half asleep. Um, but yeah, I'm just currently admiring the view while I talk to you. That's why I'm kind of like eyes all over the place. Um, my hair looks absolutely crazy. Wow, okay. It looks absolutely crazy. Had a hat on it all day to protect my scalp. Just got back to the room. It's just, wow, okay, I need to sort that out. It's just gone about quarter to six and I get picked up. Um, around midnight tonight so I've still got a lot of time I'm gonna get in the shower wash my hair and then next week I have some very important annual exams that I need to carry on doing my revision for and my e-learning for if you're not cabin crew or you don't know what it is basically every airline well at my airline I talk from my airline because I know it's definitely <laughs> true but at my airline we have to take our annual exams annually once a year to well within the space of a year to remain in license and to remain fit to fly so yeah it's just basically a knowledge check there's a mix of theory and practical exams and just have to pass them to be fit to fly and keep your licenses to fly and to keep in line with the CIA which is the Civil Aviation Authority so yeah I've got that next week very nerve-wracking but also like we know the answers I'm here working for my airline because I've passed the exams well, twice already before, two years of flying, I passed, what is that, sorry, um, twice already, so I'll be fine, but I just need to carry on doing my revision, so I've given myself a few hours, I've come back up, um, and yeah, as you would have seen, I sat by the pool, I had a gorgeous curry, and it was absolutely beautiful down there, I've not stayed in this hotel before, like I said, I've been to Mumbai once, but I've not actually stayed in this hotel before, and it's like a palace, it's beautiful, and I had a gorgeous little butter chicken curry. It's obviously, because I got up so late, it's now late. And the ants and other insects and mozzies were starting to come out. I was like, I just need to go upstairs because I feel like I was getting bitten. So I've come upstairs and I'm going to have a shower, wash my hair ready for tonight's flights. Even though I'm a passenger, but I still need to look presentable. I also bought a Pepsi with me and a Miranda. Apparently a Miranda is like a Fanta. Thought I'd try it. But I bought those up so I can just have a drink and chill up here. And I don't think I'm going to need to eat anything else because I'm still very full up from that curry. But, yeah. I'm so thirsty. I'm tucking into the Miranda. I asked for a Fanta and they said this is basically the Indian version, I think. Let's try it. That's really nice. It is basically Fanta. It's a bit more, like, sweetened. But it's gorgeous. Now, I just ordered room service. I'm just covering the cutlery packet because it's got the name of the hotel on it. But look at this. That's a kid's Willy Wonka chocolate brownie. And this is a kid's mac and cheese. I don't know what's in here. What's in there? Oh, ice cream. Oh, for the brownie. Unreal. I'm going to go and eat this. bright red a bit greasy and sweaty i have just come back from the gym um a bit of context really so the last time i would have vlogged anything was actually the week where i went to mumbai which is now nearly two weeks ago so it was a while ago um and you're probably thinking why did i give myself a week off of vlogging wanna be vlogging <laughs> um and the reason was i had my annual exams so if you're not in the aviation industry or you're not cabin crew well you have no idea what I mean by annual exams. Basically, in order to remain fit to fly and licensed on your aircrafts and just, you know, up to date, I guess, you have to sit um, annual exams, obviously annually. Um, and that is basically a very short snippet of what you would do in your six weeks training. And it's like a refresher and testing the knowledge and just making sure that you are equipped to fly. But yes, yeah, so I just had those. And for any cabin crew or flight crew or anyone who has to sit annual exams in the aviation industry or any industry but going from experience to aviation industry it can be nerve-wracking there's a lot of e-learning and a lot of information to go over in a few days so it's very nerve-wracking so I was like I'm not going to mess around with vlogging I just want to focus on that so I've done my e-learning I've done my practice exams and then I had my three-day annual exams and safe to say well you can tell because I'm at work but safe to say I passed all of my exams um, I'm very proud of myself and 
yeah, I'm relieved. I am now in Nairobi. It is actually Wednesday today. Um, I actually forgot to vlog <laughs> yesterday, but I got up super early yesterday and I left home about 5 a.m. But yeah, sorry, my mum faced on me, so I've forgotten where I was at. But basically, yeah, I got up really early. I can get up early for the few days before that for my annual exam. So I was kind of in the routine of just getting up and going. Um, so I forgot to vlog. But yeah, I landed in Nairobi yesterday and I was really tired because I've had a busy few days and mentally <laughs> challenging few days. Um, but yeah, so I pretty much went straight to sleep. We got here about 10 p.m. anyway. I stayed up for an hour or two on FaceTime and unwinding and blah, blah, blah. Um, and yeah, so then I went to bed and I got up this morning, treated myself to a lovely 11 or 12 hours sleep. And I got up and I went to the gym and back in the room. It is currently just gone 10 past 1 p.m. local time. We're three hours ahead from the UK in Nairobi. Um, and I've booked myself in for an hour massage and I am so excited. I thought I would treat myself because after this trip, I'm going on to annual leave for a week. I'm going on a little early birthday trip. Um, so yeah, I feel like to start the celebrations and congratulate myself for passing my recovering. I'm gonna go treat myself to an hour massage. But I'm feeling really relieved. I've got loads of exciting weeks coming up now that my recovery's over. I can forget about it until next year. Well, not forget about it, but you know what I mean. I can move on from it until next year. As usual, lovely passengers, lovely crew. It was a really, really nice flight out here yesterday. Um, and it should be even nicer going home. I'm gonna go get myself ready. I need to fit in a porridge pot as well because I need to eat something I've not eaten since I've been here. So I'm gonna eat a porridge pot, have a shower, and then go for a lovely massage. Mm. Oh. I've just had my massage. As you can tell, I'm covered in oil and stuff. Oh, it was amazing. A full body hour massage. And like whenever I've had a full body massage before, sorry, excuse the state of me. Whenever I've had a full body massage before, it's been like back, legs, feet, arms. This woman was doing my chest area, my belly, like everywhere. The only places that weren't touched was my face and my private bits, you know? And it felt amazing. I'm now drenched in oil, so I'm gonna have a lovely shower. But wow, that was so good. And I feel like where she's drained all like the lymph fats and stuff, I feel so skinny. I feel so relieved. I feel like so much has left my body, so much stress, so much water weight. I feel so good. And it's just gone 10 past three. I was gonna go up to the pool, but I can't really be bothered. Like, I might just stay in my room. Obviously, I've not eaten yet. I was gonna have a porridge pot, but I kind of lied to you guys and I didn't end up having it. So I am very hungry now. Um, so I might have a shower, order a big fat meal service, meal service, room service, and watch TV. And then I get picked up in six or seven hours. So I might just chill. But yeah, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> Well, I look absolutely a state, but I've just got out of the shower and I've just ordered room service. I, and I've got my PJs back on, of course. Um, I ordered spaghetti bolognese, a sticky toffee pudding. They said they might not have that. So if they don't have that, I, said, I was like, okay, I'll have anything. Um, and then I got Coke Zero as well. And I'm really hungry. That doesn't sound like enough, but my eyes are always bigger than my belly. So I'm just going to go with that. And then worst case, if I'm hungry later, I'll order something later. But yeah, it's currently just going... 4 p.m. I don't get picked up for another like six hours. I'm gonna eat and just chill. Very nice trip after what was a very stressful week. Well, hello. It is now bank holiday Friday, Good Friday. It has been a hot minute since I vlogged. The last time I vlogged, I was in Nairobi. Yesterday, I landed really early in the morning. I got home about 8 a.m. and I was like, right, I'm gonna go to sleep and wake up at 12. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then I ended up sleeping till about 3 p.m. I missed my nail appointment um, and whatnot. I had so many errands to do that I just didn't do. I was absolutely knackered. And I thought, you know what, if I need to rest, I'm gonna rest. So I ended up resting all day. Jack stayed around my house. Um, and yeah, it is now Good Friday and I've washed my hair, had a little pamper. And we're going around my nan's house to pick up some Easter eggs that she got. She phoned me and Jack was like, I've got you some bits, can you come pick them up? So we're gonna go see my nan for a little bit. And then um, we have friends, we have arrangements with our friends <laughs> this afternoon. So today is an errands day and then seeing our friends this afternoon. Very exciting, chilled day and yeah. <laughs> Happy 
bank holiday Saturday. It is currently about 1 p.m. Yesterday I got my nails done. I went very simple. In the shop they looked a bit more pink and now they look a bit see-through and I'm not really a fan. But yeah, I do like them though. They are growing on me. They're just natural and they'll do. And yeah, today we're off to Bottomless Brunch. We're going to pick up our friends and then we're getting the bus into town because no one's free to give us a lift. I'm very excited. We're going to Turtle Bay for Bottomless Brunch. And I'm really excited because we haven't seen our friends like as a little foursome in a while. So it's going to be very exciting. We're going to go pick them up now. And yeah. It's Becky. It's Becky. It's Becky. It's Good morning, guys. Please excuse the state of me. I have not taken my makeup off from last night, which I never do, but we got in not even late, like 10 p.m. and I've just not been home. So we're gonna, we just got up. It's about half 10 this morning and Jack's just packing his stuff for Paris. That's why we're in a bit of a rush and a state right now. So please ignore. But yeah, we woke up this morning to an email from our accommodation for our holiday in a few days. Sorry, tomorrow. I don't know if I've even told you, but we're going to Disneyland tomorrow, Paris. So we're going on holiday tomorrow, which obviously will be a new vlog. But we are spending two days in Paris and two days in Disneyland. It's just like an early birthday trip as I'm not here on my birthday or any surrounding weekends in April. I got to an email this morning from the accommodation saying, sorry, we have to deny your booking because of a flood. And we were like, what? They've not cancelled the booking. They've not done anything about it no refund, no cancellation. So I'm just completely left in the dark. And I panicked and booked another accommodation, which was another like 300 pounds on the, you know, on the front. But I called booking.com. They've been really good about it. And they answered straight away. And she's contacted the accommodation and basically said, if they don't hear back from them in 45 minutes um, with like an alternative accommodation for us, they're gonna refund, refund us and all this. Um, I showed her the email that the property said, and that alone, she said, it's proof that the accommodation isn't going to be honoring us. So. They can like refund us the money now, but she just has to follow her protocol. Which was, I don't really get stressed anymore about things. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of letting it ride out. And she said that we'll get our refund because she's got the proof. Just have to wait. But yeah, so we've got something else which was a bit cheaper and actually closer to what we want anyway. But it's like all jungle themed, so it looks quite fun. But yeah, if you want to see where that where we end up going, then you have to stay tuned for next week's vlog. But yeah, I've been a bit of like a stressful warning, but I've chosen not to stress about it and just go with the flow. Off light is really early tomorrow morning, but it's Easter today. Happy Easter. So we're just going to pack Jack's stuff and then we're going to head back to my house um, and spend Easter with my parents and pack all my stuff together. But yeah. Easter Sunday afternoon. Jack has had too much Carvery <laughs> in Toby Carvery and he is fast asleep pretty much. Just gonna move all that stuff out the way. That's just some errands <laughs> I've been running. Um, Jack is watching football and falling asleep. It has just gone about half five. We had a most gorgeous, yummy Toby Carvery out with my mum and dad. My hair is looking a little bit slick. I'm gonna get in the shower, have a little pamper, ready for holiday tomorrow. And I'm gonna pack. So I might leave it here. I'm just gonna start pampering now. Jack is already getting stressed. Oh, Jack is already getting stressed about the lack there of sleep for tonight. So yeah, we need to be up at 3 a.m. and that will be a new vlog. So yeah. <laughs> 